So I continue to be interested in how well we can use ChatGPT or other uh, large language models for learning. So this time I tried a different approach to um, conversing with uh, ChatGPT for my own education. I, I held five extended conversations with it over a course of about a week and a half. Um, I began each conversation by um, asking it to suggest topics for us to discuss. In the first conversation, I just threw it out, any, you know, suggest some topics, and we narrowed it down to um, eventually sociology. We ended up going back and forth about various topics within the field of sociology that I didn't know. Okay, in the later conversations, I tried different techniques. Sometimes I asked it to quiz me about a subject or um, just throw out some fringe topics and let me choose from among those, those fringe, unusual topics. Um, and then we um, would have a back and forth conversation. This time, unlike my spoken conversations using that um, GPT called my Socratic Buddy, which I made some videos about a couple of months ago, um, this time I've been um, having extent, letting it talk, letting it um, write uh, at length. And so when I say, to explain some such a topic, it produces a couple of pages of text, often with um, in outline form with um, headings and subheadings and things like that. Um, and then I read it. I read what it told me about this subject that I wasn't familiar with. And I ask follow-up questions. I ask um, for more explanation. Um, I raise some objections in some case, and then it responds. And so the result was um, these long, long conversations. Some of them, by the way, I t uh, conducted over several days um, when I converted them to PDF. So a single conversation would be about 30 pages long, quite dense with a lot of information in it. And um, once again, I found that I think I was getting smarter. <laughs> um, I was learning about things that I didn't know about. Um, it provided a lot of very concrete information, a lot of avenues, suggesting many avenues for further developments, for further investigations. Um, and so it's a, I continue to think it's a really powerful tool for learning. Um, while I was doing this, I wasn't imagining so much that I am who I am now, a 66-year-old semi-retired academic. Rather, I was imagining if I had, were 16 or 17 years old and interested in learning about the world, thinking about going to the university in a couple of years maybe, wanting to find out about things I didn't know about, this would be a really great way to get kind of a well-organized framework for knowledge about um, subjects that are often discussed in universities, that often come up in the news. Um, it probably would not be so great if I delved into the subjects more deeply. So it, I might have encountered some hallucinations in that case and maybe cases where its knowledge is incomplete. Um, it would also be not so great for learning about subjects that have a visual or a tactile component. So this was conducted completely in words with no images. It also would not be so great for subjects that require um, sort of experience um, of something. So to give an example, one of the subjects that suggested that we did not discuss was literature. Um, I think I could have had a very um, satisfying discussion uh, with it about literary theory or about literary trends. But when it comes to experiencing literature, reading and enjoying poetry or novels and other things like that, um, I don't think the discussion with ChatGPT would be enough. It could probably provide explanations about many things, but you also you need more. So I'm not suggesting that this is a complete tool for learning but it is a really valuable um, supplement for education, um, especially for self-motivated learners. Um, I, I could imagine spending a half hour, hour a day with, in conversations with ChatGPT over weeks or months and becoming a whole lot smarter if I were 15 or 16 years old rather than 66 years old. 
So um, I've linked in the description below the five long conversations I've had. You can get an idea of how I do these conversations, and I encourage you all to uh, give it a try yourself. So thank you very much for listening.